My name is Quill Taylor, and I have taken it upon myself to record my findings pertaining to the life of a young boy named Anthony Todd. wonderful to see you all. I can't remember how long it's been since the town has gathered together like this. But I know it's been long enough. It's good to see you all. Now, if everyone would quiet down, I'd be happy to explain. As you are probably aware, the town's clock tower was one of the casualties of an accident that occurred recently. The clock tower has been a part of our town's history for many rotations. So, I've been tirelessly searching for someone to fix it for us. Tirelessly searching? (laughs) And so, I come before you today to present a solution and a friend to Morgrel. Erin. Thanks, Mayor Widow. Yeah, I'm gonna be fixing the clock. So, what about your day? Don't bother me. It will all be good. Exactly. How long do you think it'll take? I don't know. Like, three days? Are you gonna fix it by yourself? Yeah. It's a massive- No questions at this time. Uh, thanks. That will be all from Erin. I do have one further announcement. As a request. Please be aware that the library is still open and has been for a while now. Pay a visit. Also, please keep in mind that if you'd like me to call a town meeting about something you deem important, you can do so by request. It is much easier than gathering outside. Have a good afternoon. This is my town, and you are going to keep that whole deal to yourself, not unleash it on other people. Are we clear? I think you're confused by where we stand in terms of authority. Cool. Or in your case, Aaron, warm up. Widow is running this town. We're just here to see what we agree. There won't even be a town soon anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Then, once again, why am I fixing the stupid clock tower? Hold up. Civilians. Ah, uh, good afternoon. Uh, don't try that on me, Taylor. Hello, Mayor Widow. Always good to see you. What's this? Who are you? The Outsider. Oh, so you're the one I should thank for my pointless assignment. Or maybe I should be thanking you for your reckless driving. Probably. Hmm. Uh, Alright, I'm here. <gasps> Oh, who is this Vassage? No one you've met. And no one you will. We make it our business to know everybody. Dangerous business. I'd watch your back. You know you'd already be dead if we had the authority to kill you. I'll be sure to quote you on that. I'll even put it in the paper. Actually, Morgrove doesn't have a paper. (sighs) Thank you, Amor. I think my brain is shriveling just by standing within earshot of him. I think this is my cue to leave. I'll be seeing you, Ciara. We'll be going as well. Have a good day, Miss Mayor. And to the both of you. You too. Why did I get assigned to do this with him? Tough luck. I can't express just how much I wasn't talking to you. <sighs> Let's go, Quill. Look at you, prancing round on your high horse. Pardon? Widow. You're not important. You're nothing special. You have no idea who you're dealing with. So I've been told. Do you think you stand a chance against him? Or any of us? (laughs) You don't. It's the only reason he's keeping you alive. To see it all play out. Sure. (laughs) You don't know the true volume of what's coming. You don't know what it's like to lose. (laughs) But you will. I think you're the one in the dark. 
All of you. Quill, save your breath. What you don't understand is that we all lose if he wins. What a revelation. Do you really think that's going to change anything? It does for me. It's because you haven't lost yet. You still have everything to lose. And you don't even realize it. Or maybe you do, and you just refuse to let it stop you. How much are you willing to risk for a town you just moved to? For people you just met? It's not about them. And it's not about this town. I'm not surprised your mind is on nothing else. I can't imagine you've ever left. I feel sorry for you. I don't need your pity. Miss Mayor, your speech was riveting. Nanny. I'd like to commend you on your quick actions on the clock tower. Save your flattery for your butler. I have nothing to say to you or that traitorous witch you've picked up. Ciara. You'd best be on guard, Nanny. I hope Eris gives you mercy. He'll see just how right I am about you. Surely your view of me hasn't remained the same. After all this time... It has. I maintain my original opinion. And it is that you are no good. They'll all see past that facade you put up one day. And on that day, it will be glorious. I assure you, I've not the faintest idea what you're talking about. And you'd do well to know your place. You're the second person who's told me that today. I look forward to the day when you realize your pedestal is lower than you thought. Good day. Abby. Save it. I'm not in the mood. No, I'm not. You never are. Where's Essa? Waiting down the block. We're going to take care of her. Good luck. Thanks. We're going to need it. Spiders won't be the easiest pest to deal with. I do despise them. Spiders? Unfortunately. I hate spiders. So much. That's why we're not the ones dealing with them. Don't worry. Lucky for me, I have a very brave witch by my side, as our dear mayor so kindly put it. Is that what she's calling me? I'm flattered. You do have the, uh... General atmosphere? Vibe. Overall look. Has this been discussed? Not even once. Anyway, we should probably get going. Mystery's not going to investigate itself. Go on. We'll meet at the manor tonight to reconvene. And if something goes wrong? Tuck Anthony in for me. That's not funny. It wasn't meant to be. Come along, Essa. We've got a pest to get rid of. Can't wait. See you tonight. See you then. Charlie's first. Lead the way. I hate this forest. You remember it. I don't. I mean, I suspect, and I'm likely accurate in my inferences, but... I have no memory of it. Abby... I don't wish for the memory. I'd rather keep everything I gained during our assignment, rather than before. I have a feeling I wouldn't like what I find. You... probably wouldn't. Hmm. We're here. Are you ready? Not at all. Let's go. There's so many. Do you not? Remember they can't hurt us? Ciara controls them, so until she gets here, we're going to be fine. I know, Abby. I'm telling this to myself. Hey, it's all right. It's just a bunch of little insects. Arachnids, actually. Yeah, yeah. Got more legs and lungs. Gross. All right. Got yours? Yeah. Let's do it. This is easier than I thought. Just wait. They're all going in one direction. It means she's coming. Get ready. I'll go out first. You come around back. Be careful. Hey, Ciara! Oh, I saw the forest was infested. Thought I'd do a little pest control. What, don't want me to clean up? I'm going to. Has Eris finally given you permission to act out? I don't care. Abby! Congratulations! Uh, ah! You're not a complete idiot. Out of the way, Abby! I know! Hey, 
Tessa. I'm trying. There. She's... In a time bubble. It's gonna take her a while to get out of. And you're sure Eris won't correlate this to you? She's going to tell him who did it regardless. But we've got to get moving. All right. Back to the manor. Library first. Why? I'm worried about it. What, the device? If Eris or one of the reps finds it, then it's over for us too soon. Good point. I figured leaving it with Liv might be a good idea. She can record her research and what she's found so far and give it back to us. <sighs> that might be wise. You're sure it'll be safe with her? Nothing's safe. It never has been. But it's safer with her than with us. You're right. I still don't really understand what the point of recording these is. Will was adamant about it. But why? They're a history nerd. I feel like it has something to do with that. Preservation of information? Yeah, something along those lines. I mean, who knows where this recording will go in the future? If there is one. Exactly. Positive thinking. I suppose so. All right, come on. We've still got a job to do. The Domestic Life of Anthony Todd is a podcast by J.R. Steele and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The writing, theme music, and sound editing were done by J.R. Steele and the script was edited by River Topler. Follow The Domestic Life of Anthony Todd on Twitter at Domestic Life Pod and find The Domestic Life on Instagram at Domestic Life Podcast. Visit the website, penofsteel.wixsite.com forward slash domestic life to listen, view transcripts, and meet our cast, or join our Discord using the link in the description. Thanks for joining us.